Hello ladies, I'm going to show you how to get a flat stomach again and the following moves are the best exercises for women in their 40s, 50s and older. My name is Petra and it's my mission to help women over 40 get back into shape and prove that it is possible and not too late for us to get our confidence back and feel great again. In today's video, we're going to be covering four standing ab exercises. These exercises are easy to do and don't worry if you can't do floor sit-ups or crunches. The following four exercises are really effective and will pull that tummy in. And a great bonus is that you don't have to get up and down off the floor and you can do them anywhere. As we know, our bodies change as we get older, we've had kids, we're on or we have been on the menopause and things just don't work as they used to, so we need to exercise differently. So the next four exercises are going to strengthen your core, give you a flatter stomach and if you add in a good healthy diet, you'll start to get a strong stomach and lose that fat too. What I'm going to do now is show you the four standing ab exercises that you should be doing that will give you a quick five minute workout you can do every day to start to see results and get a stronger, tighter midsection. So are you ready? Then let's go. The first exercise is standing crunches. This is the same principle as crunches lying on the floor, but with this you're standing up. This exercise works all your muscles at the front and is great for that stubborn lower belly that just won't shift. For standing crunches, we're going to stand with our feet hip distance apart. We're going to put our arms straight up in the air and then lift one knee and at the same time, pull down with the arms into a crunch position, squeezing your stomach all the time and keeping it slow and controlled. And from the side. We're going to do this for a count of 10 reps for three sets. But if you can do 30 in all one go, then that's great. Or try to work up doing 30 all at once. The second exercise is elbow to knee. This exercise challenges the rotation of our core, working the transverse muscles here at the side. So start with your feet hip distance apart, place your hands by your ears, and in a twisting motion with your elbow, touch your knee. As always, keeping your stomach really strong throughout the whole exercise. And from the side. You want to be aiming for that 30 reps all in one go. But if you can't at the moment do three sets of 10 or two sets of 15 reps, whatever you can do to get to the 30. Before we get on to the next two, I want to tell you ladies why we should be doing these exercises and the benefits to them. So by strengthening, tightening and toning our core, you'll reduce the risk of back pain and injuries. So you'll also be able to move around so much easier. A strong core will also help your pelvis, your lower back and your hip muscles, giving you better balance and less likely to fall over and it also allows for a solid, firmer centre, making you less likely to suffer from any back pain. The third exercise is toe touches. Now, don't worry if you can't touch your toes. Touching your knee or your shin is just as good. So, standing with your feet hip distance apart, you're going to lift your left leg and touch with your right hand and repeat. And from the side. I really like this exercise. It's simple but effective if you do this exercise properly, slow and controlled. You can really feel your abdominal muscles contract. And also the great thing about this exercise is it works your legs as well. You want to be doing this exercise for around 30 reps in one set 
and then have a 15 second break. If 30 reps are too much for you, 15 reps will work just as well. The fourth exercise is forward punches. Again, like the elbow to knee exercise, they're working the transverse muscles or these here at the side. So standing with our feet wider apart this time, we're going to have soft knees and we're going to start punching from side to side. Again, squeezing that stomach as we twist and stretch your arms as if you're trying to touch the other side of the room. And from the side, So do this for 30 counts without stopping if you can. I really love this exercise. It's great for fitness. It gets the heart going and it gets a sweat on. So to recap, you're going to put all of these four exercises together and it will give you a nice five minute workout to get your stomach looking trim. So let's start with the first move. First, you do 30 reps of standing crunches. Then you take a quick rest and when you're done, then you go straight into 30 reps of elbow to knee. And remember what I said about keeping your stomach tight. Another quick rest and then next we have toe touches for another 30 reps. And the same thing again, once you're done, 15 seconds rest and then straight into forward punches. These four moves combined will give you a great five minute workout that you can do anywhere. For example, if you have a few minutes spare at work or home, you can stand up and get this workout done. Remember, if you want real results, then you have to stay consistent with this workout. And to make it easier for you, why don't you put on your favorite music whilst you do it? So there you have it, four standing ab exercises and if you put them all together it'll give you about five minutes workout and it's a great routine for women in their 40s, 50s and older. I'm not saying these are the only ab exercises you should do but if you include them in your daily routine two or three times a week or whatever you can do you are going to see results in your waistline, in your health, your body and your strength. So to lose weight around your belly, increase your daily activity, reduce the amount of time you spend sitting and follow a healthy diet. Keep in mind, it's best to focus on your core abdominal strength instead of craving that six pack stomach. Just to let you know, I'm currently working on a six week transformation challenge which I guarantee I will get you in the best shape and looking slim for summer. It will be available during the middle of May, so look out for it. If you like this video, make sure you drop a comment below and also make sure you subscribe to my channel for more weight loss tips. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.